Hey, what's up guys? Uh, thank you very much for being an electrical. I really appreciate that. So I want us to look at relay bases. Okay. Relay bases can be quite uh, different. If you're not familiar with these bases, you can think that it's a big deal. Okay. So uh, you always go to, but probably you have a relay, uh, you know, multiple uh, different brand of relay, but you'll be also encountering a different brand of uh, timers. Now, for instance, um, I mean, different brand of relay and then different brand of bases. Okay. So you find that this is uh, a base from Finder. Okay. So uh, this is a base from Schneider. All right, and then uh, uh, this is uh, a brand, I don't know, from, I don't know, okay, but they are quite different types of brand. Eh? So, in most cases, uh, you're, if you're buying a relay, uh, probably uh, together with the best, most, uh, they are sold in most cases like that, but it, they tend to be a bit expensive when you buy uh, with the base, okay? <clears throat> they tend to be expensive when you buy with the base. All right. So in most cases, you find that you may have a relay, but you don't have a base. So you go to look for base, okay? And uh, you, you you may not get the exact one that you're familiar with, okay? So what you have to understand that bases are all the same. Manufacturers have just, uh, you know, made different modification for different brand, but the layout is the same. Now, take an example. This is an 8-pin uh, base. This is an 8-pin base. And this is an 8-pin base, okay? But you, you look at, at these bases, the modification is different. The design is different, okay? But they all, you know, carry the same relay. You can just slot in the same relay, all right? And it will still uh, work perfect. So it depends. So you don't have to say that I need this specific one. Okay, of course, there is also uh, durability issues, but at least uh, the last time I checked, uh, most of these uh, relays, uh, I mean, bases from different brands are really, uh, you know, uh, durable. All right, but this is what I want us to understand. So this is an 8-pin relay. So we've seen, uh, you know, the model, but same so the numbering also will be uh, a bit different but let us check so most relays they will indicate clearly that uh, this is a1 uh, your, your your supply a1 a2 and then two seven so no matter the the appearance okay uh, the brand they will always put these numbers clearly marked so if you look at this ordinary one, okay, this is the most common one. It has two, uh, two and seven, and you have already known that two and seven uh, is the coil contact, okay? So if we go ahead and look at uh, this really here, and we look at uh, the drawing here, so you can clearly see that number seven and number two is for really contact, I mean for really coil. Okay, so it becomes easier that way. So you have also this other brand from Finder. So if you look at these two bases, you clearly see that the modification is different. These are same brand. Okay, this where is this is coming from? Uh, okay, I'm seeing a type here is the real pole. Okay, but uh. This relay from Finder, it can 
you know, use both bases without any problem. But I want you to see. So this one, they have, uh, you have two contacts here for, for the coil, A1 and A2. And this one also you have contacts A1 and A2, okay? So they look quite different but again they have some similarities because again uh you realize you have the common contacts here and then this one also you have the common contacts here you have closed to common and then you have open to common same thing closed to common open to common okay so uh this is a 14 uh pin relay okay so which can slot in well okay okay now when we come to eight uh, 11 pin relay uh there is a variety okay so here i have like six uh different brand okay of pin and also if you look at uh, you know the appearance is different okay you look at this the appearance is different this is different okay because they are from uh different brands okay and this one which looks big from finder okay but they are all 11 uh, pin really now unlike this which has two contacts here which are dedicated for the coil okay your 11 pin can easily slot in here okay same thing here If you slot in this one, so you realize that you have got uh, different types. So if we look at this. You have got contact 2 and 10 right here. And you have clearly marked A1, A2. Okay? So you have common contacts here. And then you have close to common, open to common. Okay? Clearly marked. So, in fact, they have uh, put for you here. If you could see, you have got uh, normally open here and then normally closed here. Okay? If we look at this this one here, uh, we have number two and uh, number ten right here. So this and this are for our coils, okay. And then uh, we have got this one here, okay. So this this has no uh, we don't have any marking. We just have in fact. A2, let me see. Uh, I can see. Yes. This one has. I can see A2, A1. So you see, they are right in the middle. Even here, they have put 10 and 2. Okay. So different, uh, you know, really have different uh, uh, markings or numbering. That's why you say they use 10, 2, 7, 2. Okay. Others, they can clearly mark A1 and A2, all right? So if we check this one here, uh, 11 pin still. So we are looking for 2 and 10 right here. But they have also uh, added uh, some number here. This is A and B, okay? So clearly to tell that uh, this is the, the coil, okay? Yeah. So basically, that's how uh, you can identify uh, these 
really uh, really really bases so you'll get different brands the only thing you have to understand if your relay is 11 pin then you get 11 pin uh, uh, you know base if it's 8 pin you get 8 pin base as simple as that hey thank you very much uh, for watching uh, you know please don't forget to subscribe to like until next time I'm out hope you know really nice